What is going on guys? We are back for episode number 14 and the finale probably of our Pokemon Crystal Chest Lock. In the last one you guys, uh, we defeated uh, Claire. We basically got all the way down here to Victory Road. And we are now here at the Pokemon League. Now obviously our team is pretty much set. It's been set for a while. Um, we have our God Squad. We have Gengar, um, the Ghost Poison type. Um, Rock and Ice Punch, Thunder Punch. That gives me complete neutral coverage for the entire game. Confuse Ray and Hypnosis. We have our Queen, our Electabuzz, with Thunderbolt, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, and Light Screen. Uh, again, Bolt Beam is neutral coverage against everything in the game. Fire Punch is just really, really good. I can maybe switch things out um if i need to in a little bit though and then light screen just gives me a nice special defense boost um then we have our pawn our soikun um who got a little bit later in this series uh with surf roar beam rest and sleep talk basically we're looking to just have a stally pokemon that can do what we need to do um i think suicune's probably a really good answer against lance in the champion fight um, and then it might be good against, like, Koga and stuff with, uh, their, uh, poison types and stuff like that. But it's just a nice, really bulky defensive Pokemon in the meantime. Then, of course, we have our Knight, our Pidgeot, with Wing Attack, Quick Attack, Mud Slap, and Fly. Uh, we can... I don't think there's any reason. I mean, we can't use Fly, but, um, we're gonna need Pidgeot versus Bruno for sure. Um, and then of course we have our king, our Typhlosion, with Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Smoke Screen, and Sunny Day. Now Sunny Day is just to give ourselves a fire type boost if we need it. Um, but I don't really think it's super important for this entire game. And then of course we have Golem with Earthquake, Rock Throw, Strength, and Sandstorm to boost special defense. So we have two different weather options. Um, there's a few more techs that I maybe looked at in terms of, um, like we have Headbutt, we have Dragon Breath. I don't think they're terribly good. Um, yeah, there's just really nothing here that's the problem, right? So this is probably going to be our moveset going forward through the game. There, we don't have any of the TMs that are super worth it. Sludge Bomb isn't particularly good against this Elite Four. Ice Punch. I mean, I don't know if they, anyone else learns Ice Punch. Dragon Breath. Um, can anyone else learn it? No. So I think that's pretty much it for us, honestly. So I think we're good. Um, I think against Will, though, I think our Queen is just the best Pokemon in general. Um, I need to scare away any potential Jinx switching on the second one. And let me just make sure that I have the healing items that we need before we continue on. Uh, level cap is 42 for... What, what level are we anyways? 42? No, we went to Karen, right? We went to Karen. So, um, right now we're on level cap with Karen, which is fine. And then I have Pokeballs for days. I have full restores. I have max potions. I have couple max elixirs yeah we're good full heals at 25 i think we're good here so let's get going here we've taken enough time up already so um again the play here is just will comes in and just smack like i just smack will up um i don't think there's any berries that we have i don't think that's even a thing yeah so we're good we're good so well, welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is O, H to the O, V. Let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. Mind, let me stop. All right, let's go. All right, so Will comes in first. Will is gonna send out Zatu, and Zatu is really, really nice because I can just Thunderbolt this thing who all hell and back. Um, so we just Thunderbolt here. There's no reason to be fancy with it. We probably one shot this. Perfect. 
So down goes Zatu. Then we have Jinx. Now Jinx is scary. Jinx is really, really scary. Um, Jinx has Psychic, Ice Punch, Double Slap, and Lovely Kiss, and I'm actually pretty sure that it's gonna live at least one Fire Punch here. Um, so I am just gonna go for Fire Punch. I need a crit. Okay. Okay, just goes for Double Slap. That's okay. Double Slap's actually really good for me because that doesn't allow Jinx to do what it really wants to do. And then I can just Fire Punch here again. He doesn't heal because it's too high health. And down goes Jinx. Down goes that Nicki Minaj looking Pokemon. Okay. Next up is Exeggutor. Now, Exeggutor is another one. Um, I don't think Ice Punch kills. Just because the Queen isn't that super strong. But we're gonna go for it. We do have speed on our side. It is possible to get crits. We do not get the crit. Goes for Psychic. Psychic's gonna hurt. Executor's 125 base special attack stat. Yeah. So we just Ice Punch here. And that knocks out Executor. So that's three down. Then comes in Slowbro. Now, Slowbro, I do think that we one-shot. We are super fa It's We get the stab boost on top of it all. So this should just be a knockout. Perfect. And then the last Pokemon is... Is another Zatu, right? It's another Zatu. Okay. So... The queen here is basically just soloing this first one. That's what we wanted to see. We just Thunderbolt here, and I think this just picks up the KO. I don't think we have to worry about anything else here. Yeah. All right, so the queen takes that out, and we are going to get to level 48 with that, which is really, really big. The queen uh, obviously just has the move pool that's just really, really nice um, to benefit from being a little bit overleveled. Um, so that takes care of that. Um, bro, how many times are you going to say your name in a sentence? Though? Okay, so what I think we need to do from here, though, is let's heal up first. First and foremost, we heal up. Um, yo, I have proteins and stuff. I should probably use them. Let's use them on our knight. Um, and then we have this that we should probably give to sweet we should have gave that to the queen that might have ended up one-shotting the thing but we're gonna actually give it to the pawn though uh iron we're gonna give that to sweet coon as well um and i think that's just the best thing we can do oh the king's rock though um we're gonna give that to we need to give it to a fast Pokemon. I think I'm gonna give it to Pidgeot. Um, okay, so that that kind of takes care of that for us. Let's heal up here. And then we're now moving on to Koga. Now, Koga is gonna lead with Ariados, which I feel like just gives me a free opportunity to just be out to the king here. Um, I could even potentially set up a... I guess I don't want a baton passing though, but I could set up a fire move and just go ham with a sun boosted move. But I think the king just handles Ariados fine as it is. So we'll do that. Um, and since I don't actually think that, uh... we're gonna take this. We're gonna take this. We're gonna give. You the King's Rock. And we'll see what we can do. Koga here is going to lead with Ariados. We know that. And I think outside of... I think outside of Muck? I don't think 
anything appreciates fire moves on this team. Crobat doesn't appreciate Thunderbolt either, but... Or Thunder... Uh, Thunder Punch either. Um, but again, I think I can sit here on this Ariados and not have to care. So with that's the case, I am actually going to set up the Sunny Day right now. It goes for double team. As long as we don't get completely crushed. I think we just fire punch here. Okay, I need to land a fire punch though. Okay, Giga Drain isn't going to do very much. We're okay. If that's what I think it needs to go for against a Typhlosion. Okay. So that's going to knock that out. There's no way this looks. There we go. Okay. So... With the fire boost... Oh, Fortress. Buddy. Buddy! We just fire punch you. In the sun, this is over. In the sun, this is over. Alright, alright, alright. We're good, we're good. The Fortress goes down. That's two down. The King is about to get its sweep. <laughs> In comes Muck. Now, Muck just has poison moves. But I can't let it minimize for free. So I need to fire punch and I need to hope that we just do a lot of damage. Get a burn, do something. Yeah. And there's that minimize. So we're now playing a game where... We're now just playing a game where we just have to try to hit a move. Obviously, if we lose the king, we lose the game, though. So, at a certain point, there's only so much I can do, and there's a poison off of that right away. Um. Okay, I hit the move, though. That's really, really big, because that's going to knock out Muck. Why does that not knock out Muck? What are we doing here? Did the sun go away? The sun went away. Oh, the sun went away. Um... Okay, I go Gengar here. And I stop any poison moves from doing a lot to me. That's crazy. The sun went away. Okay. Um... What's more valuable to the rest of this run? Ice Punch or Thunder Punch? Um... I think Ice Punch is the more of Well, I think I can just be neutral with it all. It doesn't really matter. Okay, Thunder Punch here. Thunder Punch does the damn thing and we're good. Okay. Okay. Next up is Venomoth. And Venomoth is scary because Venomoth has Psychic. Um, and I certainly cannot allow myself to get Psychic. So... Is the Queen my most specially defensive Pokemon? Or is it Gengar? Ninety-one special defense. 129. 81. Um, okay, so it is Suicune. So I'm okay with that because we can just go ice we can go ice move it. It does have toxic though. So I do need to play that game. But Suicune eats. I Aurora Beam here. And even if it wants to go for Toxic here, I can rest it off. That doesn't even do half, bro. Okay. So... I still think I get another turn out of this. Okay. It goes for Super Sonic, too. Okay. So... I'm going to try to start going for rest now. 
Because at some point I'm gonna break through and it's gonna be okay. Yeah. Okay, breakthrough, breakthrough. Oh, come on, Suicune! Come on! Okay, I can't, I can't continue to do that. 36 HP? Okay. So, Suicune did not do its job at all, which is really, really frustrating. Um, so from here... I'm gonna go out to the night. Super frustrating. Psychic's gonna hurt. We do eat it though. And I'm gonna wing attack. Get that off my screen, get it out. Um, okay, so last mon is a crowbat too, right? Last mon is crowbat. Um, again, I'm really scared about letting these things go for, like, double team and stuff like that for free, but, but, if I go for a wing attack here, hopefully I make it toxic. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for double team. So I have no choice. I need to just attack. And that does decent amount of damage. Okay, when can attack you back. I actually land both, which is really, really big. Uh, I have to just go for wing attack again though, and it's gonna full restore here. Okay. So the full restore comes out now. Wing attack here. Okay, we're at least putting pressure on this thing, though. I don't think I can live another wing attack, though. Oh, I can live another one. Okay. So I live another one. I live one more as long as I don't get crit. And I never miss a wing attack. There we go. Okay. So... Koga is down and out. Koga was a really, really scary one for me. Um, Koga was definitely the one where I was like, we're in trouble if things go south here. So... And we just proved it. Like, look how much damage Koga did to our team. Um, so next up we have Hitmon top, Hitmon Lee, and Hitmon Chan. Um, it has to be that we just lead with our... It has to be that we just lead with. Uh, okay, let's we'll heal here though. Three Pokemon down to the red. Crazy. Okay, so we're gonna full heal here. Get rid of the poison. Get rid of the poison. Uh, and that's the only status we have. Okay, so from here. We know that it's going to be a lead here for that. I don't think I'm super scared of... Actually, I am kind of scared of it because... If I go to... If I go to the knight here, it's a thousand percent going to go for... Okay. Okay. So, king, move, take the king's rock. Item, give, give you the king's rock. Okay. So, Pidgeot's gonna come in here, and we need Pidgeot to do the absolute finest of work. Bruno is gonna be a challenge. I basically have to go to Suicune on the Onyx switch, but otherwise, I actually think that Pidgeot actually handles this entire team pretty well. So let's see what we can do. Okay. Sends a hit on top. The only thing it's going to be able to do is go for Detect and Quick Attack and maybe Pursuit. Although I don't think it will go for Pursuit, but 
Okay, it's good to go for quick attack. That's fine. Wing attack here. The unfortunate part is that we're slower. Okay, you didn't heal. <gasps> okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Quick attack works in our favor. Oh, we went for quick attack. No wonder. We're faster. Okay, so Onyx comes out. Onyx, I think, is the freest Suicune switch I've ever seen in my life. So we go to the pond. We surf here, no matter what happens. Okay. Yeah, we surf here. Special defense does rise. But I don't think it matters that much. Yeah, Onyx just goes down. Um, I would actually like to see something not Hitmonchan come out. But it's definitely going to be Hitmonchan. Um, Hitmonchan's going to go for an electric move. Hitmonchan's going to go for an electric move. And Hitmonchan is way better special defense than physical defense. But I don't think that it's going to kill me with... I don't think it kills me with a Thunder Punch. I just don't. Yup. That does nothing. <clears throat> okay. So from here... Suicune's a little low on health, and I think I can kind of stall this out a little bit longer. So I'm gonna rest here. And then I'm gonna sleep talk my way through the rest of it. Because you can thunder punch me all you want. But you're doing no damage. I need the sandstorm to go away anyways. And even if I don't get the move that I really want to have clicked, I think ice move also kills here. And we get the serve anyway, so we're good. Okay, perfect. So Hitmonchan goes down. I'm assuming... Okay, Hitmonlee comes out here. Hitmonlee is the much stronger attacker. Um, it could Swagger here. But I have one more turn of Sleep Talk that I need to go for. And it gets the Surf off, that's incredible. Okay. So Hitmonlee even has even worse physical defense, but it has so much better attack stat that I can't safe. There's a high jump kick. Okay. To be safe here, I'm actually gonna go into Gengar here. Because if you go for high jump kick, you die. Okay, missy. Does, okay, doesn't go for anything actually, which means it's gonna go for Foresight right here. Which actually gives me a pretty decent opportunity to go into... This gives me an opportunity to go into the Knight here. Because it's gonna Foresight here. Yeah, okay. So now we get the lead that we want here. Now I can Wing Attack. This now knocks out. And then the last Mon is Machamp. Um, Machamp's also scary, for sure. Uh, cross Chop Crit would be unbelievably painful. Vital Throw does double damage too. But this thing also has Rock Slide, which is the other kind of unfortunate part about all of this. It has a lot of moves that it can go for here. I need a King's Rock Flinch. Because that would be so massive. Goes to Rock Slide. Okay. This might not kill, but it is a Pidgeot. Okay. And we get the knockout. So, okay. So, we have now defeated Machamp. And that defeats Bruno. So, good job here. 
whole team put in the finest of work. Okay. So, next up is Karen. And the really unfortunate part about Karen is that we don't actually have anything that hits Karen super effectively. Which means that her Umbreon is going to be the most painful, annoying piece of shit that I can think of. So, we're gonna need a game plan. And I don't know what I want that game plan to be. Its physical attack is weaker. I think what I'm gonna do actually is lead with the knight and then go for mud slap. And the reason that I think that's the best play is just because I need some way to stop Karen from just sand attacking, confuse raying me all the way to the end. So this definitely has the ability to end us or take us to the promised land. Okay, care. <clears throat> Leads with Umbreon. Now, Faint Attack can't miss, so that is a thing. But I'm really trying to stop the shenanigans more than I'm trying to stop Faint Attack. And land Sand Attack against me, right? Okay. So we're gonna play a little bit of Sand Attack Wars. Does it miss a move? <laughs> Two accuracy drops does not miss a move. So I'm not gonna deal with confusion. I also can't go out to the, the Gengar in this situation really at all. So from here, I think the best thing to stall out this Pokemon with is Suicune, unfortunately. I have to deal with Confuse Ray, I have to deal with a lot of bullshit. But, at the same time, I think it's the best play. So switch it to Suicune. Yeah, goes for Faint Attack. We can eat up a Faint Attack all day long. I Surf here. This should still do okay damage. I don't think it's gonna do anything crazy, but I think it's okay damage. Yeah. So there's the Sand Attack, it misses. That's what I needed. I needed this Umbreon to start missing the moves that aren't Faint Attack. Please don't heal this Umbreon. Please don't heal this Umbreon. Gets the Confuse Ray. Okay, so I need to break through Confusion. It doesn't really matter. But I have a couple turns that I can try to keep doing that. And I get the Surf off immediately, which is really, really nice. So, I think Bioplume's gonna come in here, if that's the case. Um, Bioplume's probably the switch in. Yeah, Bioplume's a switch in. Um... I think I just go to the knight. And the reason that I think I go to the knight is that... It's the slower of the Pokémon. I didn't want Gengar being, um... Paralyzed. And on the bright side, it can't hit me for anything really, really hard. Pedal Dance is gonna hurt, obviously. There's still a 110 special attack Pedal Dance. But, not very effective. Fully paralyzed. Okay. Come on, you gotta break through. You gotta break through. That's a crit. Okay, there's a wing attack. I think this could just KO. It doesn't, it doesn't quite get the KO. Okay. So, now you're confused as well. You hurt yourself with confusion. Wing attack, we land it. Okay. So, from here... Um... I don't think she has anything crazy. Like, nothing... She might go Gengar, just because... 
Yeah, go with Gengar because of the fact that it can Destiny Bond Curse. So I'm actually gonna Mud Slap here. Yeah, curse all you want, that's fine. We Mud Slap you. Okay. So you can't go for Lick. Okay, I'm gonna switch here. You can't go for Lick because I am... I just can't get Destiny Bond. Or... What if I was brave and went out to Gengar here? Okay. Ghost for Spite. Doesn't work on me. I then... Ace Punch? This has to knock out from here. There we go. Okay. And then that puts me in a really good position. Although Houndoom is sitting here. It might not actually want to go to Houndoom. Although I have put myself in a position to get Pursuit Trap. Yeah. So... I think to avoid Pursuit Trap, I actually need to go for Ice Punch or Thunder Punch. And I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that just knocks out. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, this Houndoom also has Pursuit, so it doesn't really matter. Um... <clears throat> Gengar dies here if Pursuit happens, though. That's, like, a lot. Um... Okay. It did not go for it. It went for Crunch. Yeah. So, Roar here is still a problem. But, if you Roar, I get my Surf off first. I might even get my Surf off first anyways, but... This is gonna do a million. There you go, okay. So Suicune knocks out the Houndoom, and Karen is defeated, and we only have Lance left. Um, Obviously we're here, Gyarados is the lead. Gyarados is the lead, huh? So I don't think it matters here, honestly. I think the Queen just is our lead. I think the Queen just is our lead. I think we lead, lead with the Queen. If anything happens... Uh, let's do this. This. Uh, we'll full heal. Oops. We'll full heal. And then we lead with the Queen. I'm gonna actually take... The King's Rock. I'm gonna put it. Uh, items. Yes, we're gonna give you the King's Rock. And then we also need to get to level 50 because level 50 is the uh, champion. Destiny Bond? I actually don't hate Destiny Bond, actually. I can get rid of Hypnosis for that. It gives me a wing condition. Okay. Explosion? I actually think I'm gonna go for Explosion too. I think Explosion can be used over Sandstorm. Because now it just doesn't matter, right? Like, I explode on something and it, it's over, right? So, I think here we lead with our queen, like we were saying. Because our queen just handles everything at least sort of well. Actually, you know what I should do? I have a better plan than that, actually. Our pawn, we're gonna take the Never Melt Ice. And we're gonna give the Never Melt Ice to... Yeah. And then, I think... 
Our king is the only Pokemon that really needs to live. So I'm gonna put the King's Rock onto our king. And let's see what we can do here. Lance, it is time to determine the winner of the chess lock. Let's go, Leaf. I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer, and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon-type master, accept your challenge. Let's get it! All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Pulling out the cape. And Gyarados is the lead. So again, the queen comes out here right away. We have levels. We Thunderbolt here. I don't think it matters. Yeah. Gyarados goes down. There's a Dragonite, a Charizard, an Aerodact. There's yeah, I mean there's there's nothing. There's nothing. Now the only thing that's terrifying is Aerodactyl could have like a crazy move, but it's gonna go to Dragonite actually right away. And without abilities. Without abilities? Ice Punch does the damn thing! That's with a Never Melt Ice Boost. Yeah, we knock it out. Okay, another Dragonite. Out comes the level, another level 47, we just Ice Punch again. Does he have three Dragonites? Does he have three Dragonites? Is that really what he has? is three Dragonites. Crazy. Okay. So, if Dragonite's who he wants to go out to, I'm fine with this. Three Dragonites. One, two, three. Got him. Ice Punch here. And I can Thunder Punch the rest of the way after this. Thunder Punch is the way after this. And yeah. The Queen is gonna one-shot Lance. All the way to the top. Crazy. Alright. In comes Charizard. I don't know why he's not going Aerodactyl first. It's the fastest, but it doesn't really matter. We Thunderbolt here. I think this just KOs as well. We get the stab boost. Yep. Down goes Charizard, and Aerodactyl is all that's left between us and being a world champion. With Thunderbolt. We outspeed it. We outspeed 130 Pokemon when you're five levels above. And that is our chest lock. This was actually a deathless chest lock, which is crazy. We've never had one yet. We have never had a deathless chest lock. Pokemon Black kicked our ass. Um Pokemon Y was a lot better. <laughs> um and then we just completely crushed the Pokemon Crystal. Um, I don't know if it's Gen 2 mechanics, what it is. Obviously, there's not been there any options, right? So, like, you can manipulate the encounters a little better. Like, we definitely got, like, the best Pokemon in the region, for sure. Um, but there's nothing else to say here. There's nothing else to say here. Oh, no, it's all over. Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow... Ah, Eve! It's been a long while! You certainly look more impressive! Your conquest of the League is just fantastic! Your dedication, trust, and love for Pokémon made this happen! Your Pokémon were outstanding too! Because they lived... Bro... Timer starts going off! Let's interview the brand new champion! This is getting to be a bit too noisy. Leaf, could you come with me? Absolutely! Get about! I don't need no, no interview. We're good. We're good. It's been a long time since I last came in here. This is where we honor the League Champion for all eternity. Their courageous Pokémon are also inducted. Today here, 
we witness the rise of a new champion. A trainer who feels compassionate and trustworthy of all Pokemon. Yeah, 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 okay. We're good here. Okay. But with that, we're gonna get up out of here. Uh, so thanks everyone for watching. Click the like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you really liked it. Of course, we have more projects here on the way. Uh, I actually think we have a co-op project coming up next. And then we have another chest lock coming after. So if you guys are excited, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next one.